Hello everybody, good morning. Today is Wednesday, April 21st, April 22nd, excuse me, 2020. You have just watched a couple videos about the food chain for animals. So, for food chains, animals, what it means essentially is that there are plants at the bottom, a herbivore in the middle, and a carnivore at the top. So yesterday I talked about how some animals eat only other animals and some animals only eat plants. And then there are some animals that eat both plants and animals. So I'm sure I have a chart here to show you a the food chains in a simple way for you to understand. First up here you have Corn. Corn is a vegetable. Vegetables are come from the ground. Then rats eat the corn. So rats normally eat vegetables, fruits, or anything they can find. Then the owl swoops in and eats the rat. So that's a three, that's a very simple food chain. Now something more complicated. You have carrots. Okay, carrots are yummy, they're sweet, they're crunchy. The rabbit will eat the carrot. And then the fox will eat the rabbit. And then a lion will eat the fox. So it starts at the bottom with vegetables, fruits, nuts, um, things that grow in the ground. Then an animal that is a herbivore, remember that word from yesterday, herbivore? H-E-R-B, herbivore. They only eat plants. So herbivore, rabbits, grasshoppers, and rats are herbivores. They only eat plants. Then you have carnivore. So think of the word car, ne, bore. So an owl, a fox, a lion, frog, python, and eagle, they are all carnivores because they eat other animals. They only eat other animals. They are carnivores. Can you repeat carnivores? So you go from carrots all the way to lion. <clears throat> then at the bottom, we have this last food chain. Grass, grasshopper, frog, python, and eagle. So the grasshopper eats the grass, the frog eats the grasshopper, and then the python eats the frog, and then the eagle will fly in and eat the python. So there you have it. That's a food chain for you. Hey there, welcome back. I want to focus a little bit more on the polar habitat. The polar habitat, remember habitat is the word that means a home, the environment where an animal lives. So the polar habitat can be the North Pole or the South Pole, like Antarctica is in the South Pole, and in the North Pole you have countries like Greenland, Russia, Iceland. So the whole area is full of ice and water. You have this worksheet called Polar Habitats, and you have a picture with water and ice on it. There are four boxes that I want you to find the animals that go into that habitat and put them in. So you should cut, you should find the animals. This one says desert animals, desert animals. So you have to look for the sheep with polar animals. You have the walrus, the polar bear, the seal, and the penguin. So these are all animals that live in, they all live in polar environments. So I would like for you to name these animals, find them, cut them out, and put them and decorate them. If you want to even, you can put the animals in here. You can cut out the animals and put them on the ice or swimming in the water. If you want to do it the, the right way, you can cut them out and put them in the boxes. It's up to you if you want to decorate the 
polar habitat with the animals or if you want to put them in the boxes. Have fun!